Hi there, I'm Diane Brown. I am your instructor for our class, Drugs, Health, and Society. Welcome to the class. I just wanted to do a quick welcome to say hello, and I'm glad to have you this semester. As you've probably realized by now, this is a 100% online class. We do not have any in-person meetings. Um, however, I want to bring the uh, richness of an in-person course as much as possible to our class. And a lot of that will happen with our discussion. So I hope that you will feel comfortable sharing that you will talk uh, and discuss uh, information, ideas, opinions in the discussion, always in a respectful way, but please make sure that you share differing uh, opinions, new ideas, that you pull in resources that you find from the book and elsewhere, other credible sources. And if you feel comfortable that you share your own personal experiences. Um, with that being said, I do want this to be a safe place. So um, everything that we talk about in the discussions should stay there. Please don't share any information about other students. Um, you're fine to talk about me. I'm I'm uh, anything I say is up for grabs, but uh, just be respectful and respect the privacy of your fellow students. Really quickly, I am going to bring up um, our Canvas site. So um, our homepage has some basic overview information. So hopefully you've had some time to take a look at that, um, to see, to get information about our textbook, uh, tips for going through the content, which I'm gonna show you, and information on how you can um, check on your grades and also upcoming homework assignments. So um, every Monday, uh, sometimes in the morning, sometimes the afternoon, sometimes in the evening, just depends when I have a chance to post, you will get an announcement with information about the week's content. So I will give a brief overview of the topic, and then I will talk about your reading and assignments and um, any additional announcements that I have for the week. So those will always be posted on Mondays, except for if it's a holiday, then I would post on a Tuesday. And every now and then I'll post in the middle of the week if there's, um, sometimes I will break a week's content up into two parts. So you might get a post on Thursday, or if I have a special announcement, I will post it on another day of the week. Not in all cases, but most cases, your um, assignments are due on Mondays, uh, either the following Monday for discussion. I give you a week for uh, worksheets or other assignments. You might have two or three weeks, um, but typically do on Mondays. Sometimes with discussions, I will give you a few extra days to respond to other students. And so that might be, your original post would be due on a Monday, but your follow-up could be due later on in the week. So just make sure that you read all of your instructions closely. And you'll find the content that you need under modules. So um, I'm gonna click to student view so you can see how it will look for you. And so uh, the first module is just course information. You can find your syllabus there as well as other places. Um, there's some information about your textbook. If you would like to get the e-version, that's available here. And then you'll be able to see uh, the modules that are available. So right now, the only thing that is available is our introduction and overview module and an overview for you. Um, what you can do is click on the first item in the module and read what is written and then just click next to go through each one of these. So they kind of just work like slides. And for some reason, when I set up this course, um, all my pictures disappeared. So usually this looks a lot more lively. I'm going to see if I can find the pictures and stick them back in uh, just so it's not just a boring blank page. And so that was just me clicking in order. But if you 
start and then you come back, you don't have to go to the beginning. You can go to any place on this, including if you just want to go to um, an assignment. And so those typically have a little bit of a different symbol. So discussions have this little um, discussion bubbles next to it. And quizzes have this little plane rocket ship. And so you have two assignments that will be due, um, I have the wrong dates, two assignments that will be due on the 13th. So introduce yourself and the syllabus quiz and uh, our lecture for this week. As far as grades, um, this is what it looks like when you look at your grades. And so you'll be able, for anything that's past due, uh, it will say missing. So make sure that you turn your assignments in on time. They are due by 11.59 of the due date. So sometimes say you turn something in exactly at 11.59, uh, you might it might show that it's late, but I can see the time that it was turned in. So I will know that was turned in on time. Um, so you want to get your assignments in on time. If you have any problems, like you're sick or you're in an accident, which has happened to students um, every now and then, please email me as soon as possible um, because I want people to stay on track. It can be hard to, um, if you get behind in online classes, it can be hard to catch up because there's so much content that's um, put out. Um, the onus is on you to go through the reading, the lectures, and to make sure that the assignments are um, completed on time. Um, sometimes over here, you might see uh, that I've left you a comment, and that might be because something went wrong with the upload. So um, sometimes students will upload the wrong homework assignment, um, or if they use a PDF worksheet, the links are um, Everything's the answers are left blank on um, accident because it didn't upload right. So make sure that you're checking here because um, I might say, please upload this by the end of the week. And if I don't see anything, then I will grade it um, based on what was uploaded. Um, and then this little box, you just want to make sure that you um, calculate um, that you look at grades um, based on um ones that have been uh, graded. Um, if you look at everything, it might show that you have a certain score, but it just means it, that I haven't graded those assignments. So make sure that you toggle back and forth and um, look at both. Um, and that's mostly it. Um, one other thing that I'll say is that um, one type of assignment that we have are journals. So for journals, you want to make sure that you are following the instructions for journals as far as spacing, margins, um, and uh, no heading. I don't need a heading on the top because when you upload your assignment, I already know the name of the assignment. I know it's from you. You can put your name, but that's all I really need is your name at the top. But I need it to be a full page in order for you to get full credit um, because journals, I want you, these are... Um, personal essays, think about it that way. You are giving me your ideas and opinions, um, your experiences, your thoughts, um, but you also wanna back that up with um, information from the reading or from lectures or from outside sources. And so please, um, if I ask you to quote something, make sure that you're doing that, um, but really just follow the instructions listed on the journal. Well, that is it for now. I hope you're having a great first week of school at LBCC. And I look forward to reading about you in your introductions and getting to know you over the semester. All right. Bye-bye. Take care.